Hello everybody, welcome back to Library of Ruina. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day because, uh, well, I have just finished with my Monday media share. We had an absolutely amazing time. We went for like six hours. Man, we had a lot of submissions too. I'm really happy because we, we got like 70 submissions. It, it, it was insane. It was freaking amazing and I loved every second of it. That said, uh, well, we are starting off Library of Ruina today with an abnormality floor for best girl. Pod. And, uh, well, have I? Wait, do I? Yeah, okay, so I, I do have a, uh, a thing for Victor. So let's go ahead. Let's fight Spider Butt. Let's get, let's see what the abno battle's like, because I don't think I've ever had abno, like, like, oh god, it's so creepy. Wait. What? Targets foes that have killed an ally. It only becomes active in targets foes for two scenes after an ally dies. Also, look, the spiders have sides instead of pedipalps. They have sides for pedipalps. Growing children are always hungry. Target enemies with the cocoon status effect. Okay. Inflict three blunt bind. Uh, inflict a disarm. A disarm. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Wait, you still have dried up? What the hell? Why do you have such an outdated deck? I thought I read Digital's decks. What? Yuri, how? What? Did I not save it? All right, we're back. We've, uh, we have uh, gone ahead and we have taken care of restructuring these decks. I'm sorry, I accidentally hit my spacebar while I was still in the OBS window uh, in technicalities. Uh, I don't know why, they, why, they, why, why it be that way, but sometimes it be that way. But, uh, yeah, we might actually pull through this fairly decently. I'm uh, being fairly optimistic here, but I think that it's fair to be optimistic here. Right, let's go ahead. Full stop to life. I'll take a bind. You know what? I, I think I'm better off flashing this. I want you to clash that, which lets me throw a shocking blow over here. Oh, you know what? I can do this in the opposite order. I can take the full stop to life here, and I can still take that clash, and then I'll be using shocking blow here, which will uh, allow me to reduce the amount of damage my team is taking overall, which I think is going to be fairly nice. Let's go. That's one down. Which is, I have a stagger coming up. Alright, let's see. Oof. Look of the day. Sure, why not? Yeah, this this will probably work. Take that clash. We can nuke this guy with tailoring. That is a ten to ten. I don't really. I mean, look, I can do as the prescript orders. It'll reduce the damage, but it's still gonna give me the cocoon status effect. Alright, you don't... You actually aren't going to do anything this turn. 
Interesting, interesting. So that actually means that I can go ahead and use set fire to, to uh, deal some damage here in there. We should be set up now to win. All right, what are you gonna do, Spider Bud? Catching food. Inflict the cocoon status on my target. All right, well, that's fair. You got the 10. Uh, this means that you're gonna take the 10 stagger. I'm better off just not spending a card if I can help it. So I'll use this five and we will intercept with destructive impact. Then we'll scratch that. But why do you still have appetite? Yeah, sounds good to me. Great thing about scratch that is that it can get a lot of stagger damage in really quickly. The only issue is that it has a uh, it, it it has damage decay. All right, I can intercept that. We can take that shocking blow. Um, I'm better off taking the hit. I'm better off taking it. Oof! It staggered. So, uh, never mind. However, ah, <laughs> uh, yes, we have a uh, pretty decent trump card here. Well, we're not going to use retaliate. Retaliate's not best used here. We'll use I'll end you. So we want to end this when the face is angry. Uh, I accidentally ended it when it was happy. Which forfeits one of my da die. All characters apply twice as many stacks as of bleed. I'm good. We'll go ahead and we'll use... Shyness. Just giga buff one character. Great thing is, we can now use Feast, get in a buttload of damage, as well as Tailoring, get in a buttload of damage there, and, and full stop to life. And I'm pretty sure with that, Spider Bud will be dead. Yep, there we go, we won that fight, let's go. Suppression of Spider Bud complete. Hmm. 이곳은 참 고즈넉해서 좋아. 호드랑 마찬가지로 이곳 사서들도 차분한 것 같고. 어, 놀란 왔구나. 지금은 이렇게 조용해 보여도 할 때는 잘하는 사서들이야. 많이 의지하고 있어. 나도 우리 쪽 사서들한테 많이 의지하고 있지. 다 같이 뭐 하고 있었어? 책 정리하는 건 아닌 것 같고. 독서 토론을 하고 있었어. 서로 마음에 드는 책을 정해서 읽고 이야기를 나누는 거지. 아, oh, that's kind of adorable that she has a book club. I'm jealous. 우리 어울리지 않는 모임이구만. 다들 잘 참석해 주나 봐. 응, 맞아. 생각보다 적극적으로 도와주고 있어. 몇 명은 귀찮아서 반발하기도 할 텐데. 내짜오였어 봐. 벌써 어디론가 도망쳤을 거다. <웃음> Not wrong there. 맞아. 내짜오였으면 정말 그랬을 거야. 그래도 예전과는 다른 게 느껴져. 로보토미 때에도 난 비슷한 모임을 진행한 적이 있었어. 그래? 평화로운 독서 모임은 아니었을 것 같은데. <웃음> <웃음> 맞아. 직원들과 정기적으로 
Yeah, she gave Enkeflin to her employees. They effectively used her to get high. Well, that's true. No. <laughs> Yep。이번에야말로 <웃음> Hmm. Ironiaki Baby <laughs> 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 Well, I'm pretty sure he's, he'd be fine for that. <laughs> Let's be both brave together as cowards. Oh man, that is so beautiful. All right. Cocoon. Unsurprisingly, not a single employee volunteered to retrieve the corpse. Their cocooned colleague. Single ally. On hit of the dice, rolled maximum value, inflict one to two paralysis, bind, and fragile. Next scene. Excludes mass attacks. Peter was dragged to the ceiling in only a moment. The cocooned employee hanging off the ceiling at the containment unit will be a healthy meal for the spider's offspring. 
Single ally on hit against a staggered enemy, all allies recover 2 to 4 HP. Alertness. The eyes shown in the dark. <laughs> Searching for prey to feed to its spiderlings. Single ally. Enemies lose one power in clashes against the selected librarian. Upon winning a clash, inflict one bind and fragile next scene at a 50% chance. I'd say that's pretty dang good. Uh, I, I like that. So it looks like Pod's floor is a beatdown floor. Like, like she's got some defensive stuff, but it really seems like she is a beatdown floor. Which is interesting. Because it takes courage, which, uh, well, Hod's starting to show, interestingly enough. Uh, I haven't burned any books from the last episode. Let's go ahead and burn a couple of the books of Yuna and Salvador. See if we can get crack some of the, uh, it, well, well, for one, I want Salvador's page. God dang, I want Salvador's page. That man is honestly kind of hot. So, let's go ahead and burn some books. We got Krakadon, we got Salvador's page. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that's great. That is so good. Oh, my goodness. Butterfly Slash on hit, inflict to burn. Flash of Sun Up, Sunset Blade. Ooh. <laughs> mm. So much. Oh, we got two Cracks of Dawn. Oh, that's nice. So we have some pretty decent pages for uh, Malkith out of that, uh, which is fairly interesting. Because uh, hopefully with us getting this, the Book of Olga and the Book of Molar Office, into this invitation, we'll get something fairly interesting. With that said, let's go ahead and click Send. Oh, more machines. These ones actually look fairly high end. Two hundred million on? Okay. Well, it is the library a singularity? I was in a conversation about this. And it, and it doesn't, uh, from from what I understand, the library isn't a singularity. Augustina, Huh? Interesting. Interesting. Kiyoko-san, 
눈치 채고 일부러 기회를 보자고 그런 거 아니야? 쉽게 고장 낼수 있는 장치가 아니야. 그럴 능력이 있는 놈들도 아니었고. 그거야 모르는 일이지. 맞으면 W 사가 특이점의 비밀 세워나가는 일을 막기 위해 방해 전파를 보낸 것일 수도 있어. 지팡이 사람 소 녀석들은 이런 거 하나 조사 안 해도 되고요? 미치겠구나. 이 여가의 혹해서 이런 엉터리 일이나 하고 있다니. 내가 생각했을 때는 이거와 관련 있는 것 같은데. The invitation? 아주 보란 듯이 어금니 사무소 책이 적혀 있어. <laughs> okay, so they were tracking Muller office when the when they were when they just went missing on the warp train. And the and uh huh. I guess they were trying to figure out like what happened? I don't know. <laughs> Very curious. Very curious. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 말했잖아. 난 갇힌 채 대본만을 봤다고. All he did was just cite the script. 만약에 특이점을 알아내면 바로 뺏기는 거야? 그럴 리가. 저 녀석들도 지들이 쓰는 게 아니라 단서라도 잡아서 다른 날개나 거대 조직에 넘기려는 거겠지. 그 이후로는 특이점의 약점을 빌미로 돈을 뜯어내거나 할 거야. 특이점은 특화가 걸려 있어서. 바로 가져다 쓰기에는 위험성이 커. 무엇보다 그 특허는 머리가. 음. Mm. So like I I could like I imagine like maybe the head would send in like an arbiter if uh there's copyright infringement bad enough. 결국 다 돈이네. 그나저나 나는 전에 그 워프 열차가 어떻게 됐을지 궁금한데. 손님부터 받는 게 우선이야. Interesting. 이번 내부도 관측이 명확하게 이루어지지 않아. 결과는 후에도 과정이 보이지 않는 것은. 요즘 유행하는 뒤틀린 것 똑같이 선거서 죽겠네. 환영합니다, 손님. 어떻게 어금니 사무소의 책을 가지고 있는 거지? 분명 워프 열차에 타고 있었을 텐데 그것도 단몇 초만. 과연 어떻게 했을까요? So wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get this straight. For Molar Office, it was 72 hours? Or was it 86? But they were in that train for multiple days in their time. But these guys have gotten the book of Molar Office less than a minute after... The train left, which means that I can only assume either the invitations can mess with time, which is unlikely, or the warp train messes with time. And it's let's let's just theorize that it's like a time dilation sphere, it's time bubble, so to say, popped, which caused them to get stranded. That would be a very interesting thing, because, uh, imagine if the invitation was what popped it. It brings a lot of interesting thoughts into, into what happened with the warp train, how, uh, how it, quote-unquote, derailed.
세계점을 파헤치기 위해 많은 노력이 드는 것처럼 도서관의 비밀에도 큰 대가가 따르겠죠? 멍청하게 당연한 걸 물어봤군 뭐가 어떻게 흘러가는 건지 원마은 특일점과 다를 바 없다면 네? 도서관이나 책도 충분히 그만한 돈이 된다는 거군 부디 당신의 책을 찾으실 수 있기를 Oh, that's an interesting take they have. See? Oh man, the art on their pages is so pretty. Bro, look the art. Oh. Unavoidable gaze. I love how, how it's like a bunch of TV screens. This guy's just panicked in the background. What are you? Chill, bud. Bruh, the art on these pages are so good. Yo, Bono, you only got a few pages. You're a hindrance, unavoidable gaze, structural analyst. And, uh, binding arms. So they revolve around, uh, paralysis. Which I find to be rather interesting. That's it. Um, oh. Go on into the fight. My dog might might take me away. Ah, oh, you pulled a brawl. It's rather an interesting thing that you've pulled. I'll go ahead and I'll throw handling work at it. Can't hurt. On use, gain three strength next scene. Okay. Fairly interesting. All right, let's see. What do we got here? We got a two to six, three to five, two to seven. One hit. Inflict one paralysis next scene. Um. Honestly. Not too many decent moves for it. You know what? Uh, rapid steps could be the. It, it could definitely be the play. And that's a 5 to 15. Not many good moves for that. You know what? I can take I'll end you, and that'll give a paralysis, anyways. So, go ahead. What? Bro, did, did you just speak fax machine to me? I'm sorry. I don't speak brother printer. I'll be right back. My dog's asking me to bring him out. Alright. I'm back. Go ahead and do this. You know, it could be a solid move to take Brawl now. Throw. Let's see. You're just gonna observe me creepily? Fun, man. Fun. I'm fine with that. Hey, bud. Oh, it it chose the wrong card. Uh, I'll take pulsation. Pulsation is pretty dang good. Seems like we do really want to just buff the crap out of ourselves. Try and get the, the biggest hits we can get in that are possible. Alright, let's see. Fend. What do we got? 2 to 8, 2 to 7. You know what? Ah, no. I'm going to take the damage. We're gonna tank that damage, take the paralysis, boof that. 
only have one damage. Uh, one, one light to work with. I might have to take that. All right, let's go ahead and let's see. Overpower. Daring decision. And poof. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the I'll take the damage. Regen some light. Bro, I'm I I told you I do not speak Xerox. It's American. Do you speak it? Common. You know, not like high gothic. Just just common English. Initiate combat. Go to gamble. Oh, it's down by two. The end of each chance, 50% chance of gaining strength. Lord's pages cost by one, up to two times. Oh! Okay, that's interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't have much I can throw at this aside from Shocking Blow. But we're also gonna go ahead and throw a scratch that at this thing. The original person is still going to take this. <laughs> ah, glad I made the right choice. Hmm, I pulled a retaliate. Which means I can intercept that. And we, uh, might actually just take zero damage on it. Boof. And daring decision. Oh, interesting, nice. Uh, yeah, we'll give you the uh, scars. We're doing pretty nice. Throw struggle in. Followed by loosen up. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll leave that as is. We'll play guardian. Actually, you know what? We'll play handling work. Stagger deflect. Let's go. Easy. <laughs> Victory. Curtain call for the reception of Gay's office. <laughs> Gay's office. All right, we got a bunch of books of Dalek, Alec, Bono, and one book of Gay's office. Curtains closed. Gay-san은 친환경 에너지 생산. W-san은 빠르고 확실한 이동 수단. 그렇다면 R-사의 특이점은 무엇일 것 같아? 효과적으로 살인 기계를 만들어내는 게 특이점이겠지. R-사를 이용했던 네가 더잘 알고 있지 않아? 여러 번 말하는 것 같지만 난 그런 세세한 일까지는 몰라. 그래도 지켜본 바로는 확실히. 많은 수의 토끼와 개개인의 전투력을 생각하면 네 말이 맞는 것 같아. Mount of their rabbits and the combat power of each unit. 월등히 강하다고 할 수는 없었지만 안에서 일어나는 일들을 어느 정도 잘 처리해 줬으니까. 그럼 그 원리는 무엇일까? 알사의 수뇌부가 아니고서야 어떻게 알겠어? 다들 꽁꽁 감춰두는데. 뒤틀림이든 환상체든 과정은 안 보이고 결과만 있다고 했잖아. 다른 특이점들도 비슷해? 결과만 소비할 뿐 과정은 아무도 모른다는 거네. 그게 속 편하니까. 기술을 이용하는 중 문제가 생기지 않는 이상 궁금해하지 않지. 돈 쓰는 사람들은 돈을 주기만 하면 되니까. 딱히 궁금해할 이유가 없잖아. There are a lot of people like that. Unfortunately. Elsa도 그러지 않았어? 맞아. 결과만 필요했지. 그 과정에서 얼마나 많은 희생을 치르던 제대로 진행하기만 하면 됐어. That does seem like the truth. 그쪽도 그랬다면 
다른 날개들도 별반 다를 게 없지. 나 leaves us off with two abnormality battles for the next episode. We have oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I've heard about this one. Oh no. Yeah, I've I've heard about this one. I haven't met Fairy Festival yet. Maybe I have. Let me, let me check. I, I've met one of the fairies. Nope. That's spoilers. We go back to the title. Well, that said, uh. <laughs> Much love and stay sexy. I hope that everyone has a wonderful day. I hope that you guys had a uh, wonderful time watching this video. Because I had some fun playing the game. And uh, I'm loving Library of Ruin. I mean, at my heart, I am a gamer. I've, I've, literally the first thing that I ever touched. I wasn't even one year old yet. I was playing Half-Life. This is the first game I ever played. I wasn't even a year old. And I was fragging out in Half-Life. And uh, I, I really just appreciate that. I, I, I'm lucky enough to be able to play these games on YouTube and share the experience with all of you. So, have a wonderful day. I'll probably be streaming around noon Central Time. Uh, pop in and see if I'm online. Maybe I'll be on later. But it's going to be a fairly late stream tomorrow because uh, I, I, I am getting my tires installed. So, much love, stay sexy. Bye-bye!